So I clicked with my finger in the formula bar down at the bottom. That's how you start to enter formula in a, on a tablet. And I press equal, which tells Google Sheets, hey, I'm starting a formula. And I'm going to use the sort formula. Hard to remember, huh? And once you do the first parentheses, Google Sheets is going to come up and try to help you and say, look, next I'm looking for the range. So the range on this is going to be A2 through G7. Now, just to back up one second, you'll notice I chose to start this formula at the bottom of the table with nothing below it and nothing to the right of it. And you'll see soon why I did that. But I just wanted to point that out now. The second thing it wants is a sort column. So what criteria do you want to sort this by? It doesn't want A, B, C, D. It wants one, two, three. So you have to count starting at the left. So let's say we want to sort this by region. That's going to be two, not B. And then it's asking, do you want to sort it in ascending or descending? So this will be don't do yes, no, do true, false. So we're going to say that's ascending. We can try another sort column later, but for now, let's just do it. What we're saying is sort what's above by the second column in ascending order. Takes a minute to think about it, and then there you go. If you look, the formula is still in A8. In A9, it has that text. It's actually not there. If I hit the delete key, well, it is there, as you can see. But if I hit the delete key, it doesn't go away. That's because all of the cells except A8 are being filled by the formula in A8. Now, if I want to try to do this sort of different way, I have to go in here and delete the function that I just did. And again, we had talked about this. It's n it sits in cell A8 and then writes everything to the right and to the bottom of it. So I have to go into A8 to delete it. So I'm just going to backspace to get rid of it. Hit enter. And the entire new range of sorted cells goes away. So we can do a sort now using two criteria, so you see how it works. It's going to be the same formula. I'm going to start it with an equal sign. I'm going to do sort. Again, we're going to do a two to G7. And if you're an Excel user, you're going to notice that there's no option of whether or not the range has headers. So just don't include the headers. That way it won't confuse the data because you I don't think you ever really want to sort the header row. Let's do it based on region again. Oop, there we went. It's not the column letter, it's a column number, numbers from the left. We're going to do it, it is ascending. So you would just type true. And then we'll throw another column into there. Let's do it based on the fourth column as well. And we'll just throw that in as a false, which means that it would sort descending. And see how that turns out. So it sorted based on, let's go back. Remind myself what I did two seconds ago. It's sorted based on the second column. So you can see that up here, east was first, but in the sorted area, central was first because that's alphabetical order. And then when it has two centrals, it then sorts by the third row. So G comes before K. These are the same, so it doesn't sort those any further. And that's basically what you can do with the sort function because there's only a range column by which you're sorting it is ascending. You can specify additional columns, but beyond that, there's not much else to do. You can't sort by if it's highlighted or not like you can in Excel. But anyway, I hope that was helpful. And when you try to sort something on your phone or on your tablet, this will help you know how to do it.